What's up y'all? Today we're going to be breaking down this sports design poster. It's a social media graphic that I made for an award for a coach at App State. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I started out with a white background and this is just a texture, super subtle texture that I found online. So basically like a lot of textures will work, just find a texture that works for you. This is super subtle, just adds like a little bit of something to the background. So it's not just a plain smooth white background. So then I went in, I found this picture of the coach. And what I did is I put a camera raw filter on him. And on this picture, I zoomed in when I was putting the camera raw filter and I turned the sharpening all the way up to the top as well as the texture and the clarity. And because I turned the saturation down it looks super crispy and super clear so if I leave the saturation at zero you can just see it doesn't look like quite as clean it's just like kind of too much clarity and texture to use but because the saturation is taken out of it it works pretty well and it just looks like a super high detailed shot with some grain so we put that as the background shot and I just use a levels layer to kind of blend it in with the background even more so right there it just looks like I have faded it from nothing to the photo, which is like exactly what I did on this group layer mask. This level layer just kind of boosts the lighting and blends him in with like the rest of the background. So then we added in a star and as a color overlay on it because the yellow star basically just made it a black star. I used a brush that's just got a white color overlay on it because I want it to be white instead of yellow, but I just used a brush to like brush in some lighting up here to kind of fade it in. Then we have his name. On the bottom, I like doing this thing where I'll make his name and his last name kind of connect. So if you have his first name and add like a stroke to the outside of it, let's say five or something, then you convert that to a smart object. So this is the whole smart object now. And then you take that down and you control click that smart object that you just made after you've put it on top of the last name. And then you make a layer mask with that. Then you take away that smart object. First you gotta invert the mask. And then you put his name back in. And basically it just like cuts out a little bit of room around his first name into his last name. So it kind of makes it look like it's one piece and just like unifies the first name and last name without it just being like a boring old first name, last name thing. So I like to do that. Then I added in the award nominee text down here. And usually I like to add some variation to the text look. So one thing that you can do to just like make it look clean is if you have like something like this where it's like an award nominee or an award or something, you can make the text small and then if you double click on it, you can go up here to the tracking and just bump that up. So it's probably usually at like 10 or zero, but I have mine up to 200 and that just increases the space between the letters and the words. So kind of just gives it like a different style than everything else to make it stand out a little bit without it just being like huge text that's like kind of cluttering up the graphic. So then I added in his name again up here his last name as just like a signature font just to kind of give it like a cool look it kind of like flows with his cap right here i just kind of like the way that looked as well as like the star uh points to it so that's just a shadow layer literally just a black brush that's probably what i did you just take a black brush click and then transform it down like that and it looks like it's on the ground so i added in his cutout and again just boosted the detail probably the texture clarity. Then I added in a drop shadow and some inner shadows on the top right where the light's coming from and just put that in a group and brushed it away down here. And then I added in the word cornerbacks coach. It's on top of him, but I cut out just like where his arm is. If you just select, if you just con control click his layer and then you can go in and make a layer mask on the words with his cutout and that'll remove it. So it would remove all this, but I just painted in, you know, everything over here. So it basically just looks like it's under his arm. Then I added in another cutout with the same effects, drop shadow and a light on the, on the right side, just like a trim light. And again, just boosted the detail on him with the camera raw filter and then did the same thing to this last photo. So then I added in the trophy that comes with the award and just put that on the ground in front of him. Then here I just adjusted 
uh, the colors just to kind of give it all one look with different color lookups and a selective color. And then it looked a little bit too like red for the skin tones. So I just kind of like desaturated it, made it a little more sort of yellow, I guess. I like the way that looked. I think it just gave the whole thing like a more unifying look and kind of makes his name stick out a little more. To me, it just makes it a lot cleaner. And then I just went in and added these shadows underneath him and his feet and in the back of the trophy. And again, they're just like ellipses that I just put on his feet. So super simple uh, shadow work, uh, but it looks pretty good to me. And then I just added in a sort of vignette around the whole thing. I think I just used a brush to just kind of paint it around softly around the whole graphic. Added in the app state markings and then our color layer just to give it one more like unifying color look. So super simple thing, looks super clean. Again, the higher quality photos you use, the better the graphic is gonna come out. I'll probably add this graphic to my Patreon at some point. So go and check that out and subscribe if you wanna learn more about graphic design and sports design.